All right, this is part two. So yes, there is a part one. So this is part two of the Snapseed 2.0 tutorial. And we left off the last time, let's see, let's go ahead and go into Snapseed. And the last time we left off, we uh, did some crazy things to a picture and then we saved it, right? So check this out. I can go and uh, open from the device that picture. So here's here's the, and we can, that's a really cool thing. I can tell that's the picture because we did some wild things with it on part one. And you'll notice that I have an unedited version here. I've also got some uh, other unedited pictures from Joshua Tree here. But I'm going to open this and watch what happens when I tap on it within Snapseed. It's going to show that all of those um, filters, all of those tool things uh, are there. So this is not just a picture, but if you tap on this, it, it's still got all of those uh, changes that I made. And we can turn them on and we can turn them off um, just like we did in part one. But here's the really cool thing. All right, watch this. I'm going to tap on these three dots over here. And I'm going to say copy. All right, I'm going to say copy. And once I, once I say copy, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to open up a completely different picture. <laughs> open from device. And I'm going to go to my camera roll. And I'm going to open up, I don't know, I'm going to open up this one right here. Now, what I'm going to do is tap on this thing here again. And this is a completely unedited uh, photo, right? As I tap on here, I'm going to go to these three dots. And I'm going to say insert. And watch what happens. And then if I tap on the last one, it puts all of that craziness that we did on the first, uh, on part one, into this one as well. So what that means is you can you can save a lot of the changes that you do on one photo, and let's say the photos are quite similar, and paste them onto another photo. Now, I probably wouldn't do it on this one because it, this photo is completely different, but let's say that I, I'm going to hit close here, and let's say I open uh, a completely different image, I mean, not a completely different image, but I'm going to open up one that is similar to it. So here is where the tuned image is and it's, it's and I'm going to open up this one which is um, well pretty much the exact thing and I'm going to do exactly what I did before right I'm going to tap on here I'm going to tap on there I'm going to hit insert because it's still sort of in the clipboard and now it's going to I'm going to tap on there to get all my changes back and now we have basically a copy of that original picture that we had because it saved it how cool is that pretty neat all right, well, now that I've shown you that as sort of a teaser, and first of all, you should watch part one so you know everything that I did in order to get all that. I'm going to hit close. I'm going to move on to um, just a brand new picture. All right, so I'm going to hit open, go to a brand new picture, and it's open from device. And let's go to a completely unedited picture. Let's go to that one again. But this is the unedited version. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to be able to brush in um, some changes. So this time we're going to use a different aspect. Last time we, we tuned the image. We uh, changed a, a, a few different things. Let's go ahead and go and uh, do a couple neat things. One, what, let's, let me show you this cr the, the crop tool and the transform tool. Let me show you a couple differences between the two. If I use the crop tool, there's a couple things you can do. You can either... Um, you can change the, the aspect ratio. If you uh, click on there, then you can change it to um, one of the one of the preset ones. So if you want it to be square, you tap on square. And you can make it, this makes for a good Instagram one, right? Like that. I'm going to hit cancel, though. Or, and, and by the way, if you tap on that, though, and let's say that you want something more like, uh, I don't know, 3 by 2 So I'm going to hit that then it's got a different aspect ratio and you can drag from the corner and um, you can make it whatever you want. So the cropping, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit cancel, the cropping allows you to do that. Let's say that your, um, your image, however, needs to be rotated a little bit. If you click on there and you take your finger and you slide to the left or the right, you can rotate things. But notice what happens if I did rotate this, right? And I'm just gonna do it for the sake of at that rotation you'll notice that you're going to lose all of that, right? And you're going to lose all of that. So this is an old, and if I hit accept, then it's going to just crop 
to here and you've got a rotation, right? But you're gonna lose a lot of the picture. Well, check out this new feature. So I'm gonna hit um, get out, transform. Check this out. Now, if I scroll up or down, I can do a perspective for vertical, for horizontal, and for rotation. I'm gonna do a rotation and I'm gonna slide my finger to the left or the right. Now, you see, you see all this extra black stuff here? That extra, I mean, like if I just cropped right now, it would look terrible. I'm gonna let go of my finger and watch what it does. Oh, did you see that? It filled in the missing pieces with a, a contextual fill. So it's contextually aware and it just kind of says, okay, this must be what must be there. So if I do that again, it just fills it. How cool is that? Now, the other things it can do is let's say that you take a picture and it's slightly uh, of a building and you're looking up at it and it's slanted. Well, what you can do is change the uh, perspective on horizontal or vertical. So if, let's say I was looking up at something and I, oops, and, and I wanted to change that. Uh, oops, I'm still on rotation. Uh, hold on here. What's going on? So perspective vertical, uh, not sure why it's, oh, it's, it's, I can change it that way, can change the verticalness of it. And then when I let go, it still does that. You know, I'm gonna hit uh, clear on everything so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's hit transform again. And this time it's not rotated, but I'm gonna change the vertical rotation. There, now you can see it. See how it's, uh, if, if, the, if the picture of the image or whatever of the building needed to be, needed to be changed, I can change it like that, and then the same thing on those edges there, and, it'll, and when, when I let go, it'll fill it in, okay? So that's one way that you can sort of ch straighten or change perspective, I'm gonna get out of uh, here, with, uh, by using transform and also by filling in contextually. That's really powerful. Brush is very powerful too, and that's what we're gonna take a look at right now. There are several different brushes, if you tap on here, there are the dodge and burn, the exposure, temperature, and saturation. I'm just going to use exposure so that you can see some of the things that you can do with that. So let me go ahead and do uh, exposure. And what you can do with exposure is you can actually, let's say that I wanted to lighten up that right there. Well, if I just took the brush and I just started to, um, with my finger, I can lighten up that area, but it might be uh, too much. Let's say that I wanted to specifically lighten up that thing right there. Well, if I do a reverse pinch, you can start to see where that um, that that brush is. And now I can just take the brush and lightly clear up the areas of the of the picture that I want to, like that. Let me show you another cool trick. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, pinch back and get it to normal size. You see that circle? That's the size of the brush. Well, let's say I wanted to darken these skies a little bit. If I make the brush nice and big, and then if I change the exposure from plus seven, but I'm gonna go down to, it's called eraser now, because I can erase. If I were to take that and erase the things that I just touched, let's, let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna erase that, and that'll get it back to being the normal darkness. But let's say that I wanted to go even lower down to minus three. And I have a nice, a pretty big brush size right now, like that. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to kind of drag it like right over here and watch how the horizon changes, okay? And I'm going to drag my finger sort of down here, giving myself a little bit of a vignette. And that's a kind of a cool thing to do if you wanted to kind of focus in on certain aspects of it or, or bring it... Uh, Darker. If you click on the eyeball, you can see where you, you've touched. There's a little bit of red there, a little bit of red there, and that's one way you can see. So that is how you can use a brush tool. All these other tools, by the way, uh, will will allow you to uh, change the, again, the dodge and burn, saturation, temperature, and things like that. Tap on that to get out of there. And then you click on that uh, checkbox to accept. Okay, uh, let's do one more. Let's see. We've done the brush. This is, um, uh, let's go ahead and do a spot repair. Is this a good one for a spot repair? Let's see, is there anything to repair on here? Let's take a look. Uh, um, you know what, I'm gonna do a spot repair on another picture. So let me just uh, go out because I know there's an object in one of the pictures that I have. So let me go to this one. It was, it was this guy here, there's a rock, right? See, okay, so there's a rock right there and I'm gonna do spot repair on this uh, object. So I'm gonna zoom in really close, and you see that rock right there? Okay, this is cool. 
going to zoom in as much as I can because I, I want my circle to be about the size of that rock. And now I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to basically draw my finger around that rock and let's pretend like I want I don't want it to be there. Okay, there you go. And and there, look. Okay, it duplicated some other areas and it's gone. How cool is that? All right, let's see. Is there anything else I want to repair? I think that's it for night right now. You get the idea. So, oh, ooh, hey, what's that on the edge? Oh, okay, I don't like that. Looks like part of some piece of trash or something. So I'm going to uh, drag my thing over there. Let's see my little cursor. Uh, it didn't do a great job. Let's see, okay, it's not doing a very good job over here. Let's see if I can get to the edge. Okay, hey, that was pretty good. Okay, good enough. And let's let's go back and see how it looks. So I got rid of, and by the way, in, in the first lesson, you learned that if you tap this guy here, you can see the difference. So the rock should show up, and that little piece of trash or whatever should show up too, like that, okay, as I tap on it. Okay, well, there you go. That I just showed you, and I'm going to hit accept on there. I just showed you, what did we look at today? We looked at uh, doing some transformations. We learned about the brush, and we did some spot repair. So that was part two. Uh, go watch part one if you already haven't, and I will make a part three and go on with some of these other really, really cool um, things in Snapseed, Snapseed 2.0.